Hey, hey, happy day. I got news for you from the right. I got attitude as well, also from the right. How about this? If con is the opposite of pro, then isn't congress the opposite of progress? Actually, I don't even like political jokes. I've seen too many of them get elected. Hey, just saying, the federal debt in the United States of America, it just hit $34 trillion. Trillion. How many zeros is that? I, Rick, can you put that up? Trillion? <laughs> How's that look? I, it's hard to even say. 34 trillion. The interest is 2 billion with a B every day. Each and every day, $2 billion. But you know what? There's only so much money in a country. In the private sector, business, big business, small business, they go to borrow money and the bank say, we don't have any money. We gave it all to the government. Why? We give our money to the government. You do too? Yes, we do as well. It's not good because there's competition going on here between the free sector and the government. And the government, what do they do with all the money? Well, let's look at the Pentagon as an example. There's an audit going on there, and they can't account for their liabilities of $4 trillion. $4 trillion of liabilities, and nobody can figure it out. That's just one agency. It's a massive agency. I get it, and it's a huge undertaking to do an audit. I get that as well. But $4 trillion is $4 trillion. And if they can't find $4 trillion, I would suggest that there's a whole bunch of auditors that they can't find that can't find probably another 4 or $5 trillion. It's a lot of money that can't be found that the government loses. But there's a lot of rich government people, too. So is all the money lost? Maybe it was just misplaced. Maybe they'll give it back. Not so much. If they ever gave it back, I'd bark like a fox. It's gone. And there's a lot of rich people out there with money in different countries and hidden under rocks because they've taken it. I believe in that. Not in that. I believe that. Do you believe that? Nobody believes in that except the people who are doing it. Look at Biden. I mean, Trump, you're a bad guy. You had classified documents. We found some here and there, so we've charged you. Biden. Not only did they find classified documents at a whole bunch of different places, they found some at his son's place. This is the alcoholic and the drug addict. You know about drug addicts, right? I, I look it up. They're irresponsible. They do bad things. They steal. From, they do all kinds of things. That's their makeup. And what's going to happen to Biden? A slap on the wrist, maybe. The word is, he's not going to get charged. Of course not, because he's in charge of the parade. What parade? The parade of crazies. And that's what it is. Crazy, calmy people who hurt the people, the people that they work for, the people that hired them. People, don't hire these people anymore. You got that? Now, let's look at Bethlehem. Christmas, it's coming, and of course, there's a war going on in Israel. So Bethlehem is kind of an important, significant place. It's where Jesus was born. What's Bethlehem? What's going on there with regards to the war? Well, firstly, uh, more than 90% of Bethlehem is Muslim. Back in the 1940s, 1950s, 80 percent of Bethlehem were Christians, and today it's a very small percentage of Christians. In fact, Christians in Israel are less than 200,000. It's under 2 percent of the population. Hey, who knew that? I didn't. Interesting stuff. Now, let's talk about Trump. He's a dominant in all of the polls. He kind of looks like he'll be the nominee, and I hope he is. I think that his running mate should be uh, Haley. I like her. I don't think she should be president now, but I think she will be at another point in time, four years from November. And I hope her and Trump continue to get along and don't call each other too many names and can kind of pull it together because it'll be an interesting time next election, next November. Wow, it's November now. It's a year from now. However, in a couple of months, the nominee will be chosen. And we're hopeful it'll be Trump. He's dominating. Wow. In some polls, he's like 70%. Others, he's 45%. Some, he's 50 Polls are for strippers. Polls are for dogs. But, but, but here, there are some numbers that kind of stick. So we'll wait and see. You all come back. And we'll see you again.